Hello, Biotube. So those terrible core class Dinobots are back, but improved. With all new forearms and feet. It is strange seeing Grimlock painted up as Machine Sorer, I mean Goryu. And honestly, just all of these color schemes are quite bizarre. They're all the outmodes of their outer pretender shells, but painted as their inner robots. Save for Goryu and Gairyu, of course. Goryu is based on his pretender shell, and Gairyu's colors are meant to serve his robot mode. Overall, I think the robot modes really do get across these characters pretty well. They're all pretty accurate. So maybe it was worth the color change, so these guys are all cartoon accurate. So if you wanted to display them all together, I still think Ryu's legs are pretty terrible. And it's a shame most of them don't have elbows. But hey, they do have quite extensive butterfly joints, so they can combine into... A Voyager-sized Dino King for 80 bucks, which makes sense given it's six core class figures. That alone would be $72 plus $8 worth of accessories. I do like how they advertise him as enormous when he really isn't. While he is Voyager height, he does have more mass than a Voyager, obviously. And of course his transformation is a lot more complicated. If you really wanted a figure of Dino King, this is a good option. Especially with the fixes in the arms and in the legs. Though I did notice that Doryu's head is sticking out, but this does seem to be a case of Hasbro messing up the transformation in their photos again. I do dig the retro style box, but it is quite funny how Goryu's legs are butterfly jointed to be like that. But hey, he was just too wide for the box. And the box art looks great as well. Great homage to that classic gift set. It will be available September 13th at PulseCon 2024. It is nice as display of the three major Hasbro Optimuses for this year. You can have the missing link for a fourth. Shame the hand to hold Megatron wasn't included, but overall the product looks great. It's a chromeless vintage Optimus, painted up in exact anime colors with the white pants. Just an incredible figure overall. Honestly, really neat to see these vintage DX figures painted up in cartoon color schemes. Especially since the toys came first. The only problem is the exposed screws on Optimus's trailer because there is no sticker. That seems to be a recurring problem with these retro reissues. But in fairness, this deco is exceptionally spot on. To the point where Convoy is even lacking the striping on his arms. That's way more detail than I thought they would put into it. And I definitely wasn't expecting the blue crotch detail. They really went above and beyond with this release. About the only places where the deco for this in the Studio Series 86 differ is obviously... You have the front part of the gray stripe in alt mode, and of course the consoles for the Dianauts are blue. Since we never saw them in the G1 cartoon, this coloration is neither inaccurate or accurate. The blue visor on Auto Launcher is nice, but it sure is strange having those big gray indents in the floor. Would have been cool if they included the magnetic stickers from Diaclone. I am sure you can get some. He'll look great beside the Studio Series 86 Optimus Prime. Then of course we have Legacy United Cerebros, which is a redeco of Legends Fortress. Which is a neat add-on, I guess. Nice to see Jetfire pull a gun on Orion Pax. And also nice to see him among the Seekers, even though they don't transform. Imagine being. Hope you liked it. Links below.